You see, uh, uh, Mr... My name is Audie Fox. Just call me Mr. Fox. Uh, you see, before we get here, I thought I'd explain to you some of the things so you'd know, you see. Of course you understand, Mr. Jones, that as an efficiency expert, I must have all... I will no doubt familiarize myself with the conditions surrounding your business. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, uh, the first thing, we come up here from Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, started in this here taxi cab business. Oh, yes. And do you find it a profitable business? Yeah, I find... Uh, oh, you mean... Uh, That's it. Are you making any profit at the present time? Well, we are taking in some money, but we ain't got enough to show for it. That's just where I come in. See, my business is an efficiency act for me to make the necessary corrections in your business and put you on a money-making basis. That Andy is the president of the company, and sometimes he gets mad if you cross him up to so you kind of got to... Mr. Jones, I have found that in my wide experience as efficiency, sometimes there was disregard go ahead with determination to make the corrections and prove to the officers of the company that they are deriving benefit from the various new systems that I install. In the stall, you say? Yes, install. What stall? You know, we have to care coming. You misconstrued my last remark. You don't mean to tell me. I will be glad to go over the situation with the president of your company, and I want you to know, Mr. Jones, that it is that I am able to accept this assignment. Mm-hmm. It so happened that I came to Chicago Word to take on the work of correcting a big manufacturing plant. Uh-huh. But unfortunately, before I could reach there for this firm to file bankruptcy. Well, now, uh, Mr. Fox, here we is at the taxi cab. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can look right through the window there. There's Andy asleep. See him there with his feet on the desk asleep? Well, where is the president of the company? That's him. Oh, yes. The president is asleep. Uh-huh. Well, let us enter, and after I have a talk with your president, we can get together on a salary arrangement a little later. Well, uh, walk right in, Miss Fox. Shake him up unless you shake him. When he sleeps, he don't mess with it. What time does he want to be called? I'll shake Andy, and, uh, wake up, wake up. Hello? He ain't answering the telephone. This here... Come in here and wake me up like this. Andy, this here is Mr. Fox. Mr. Brown, the president of the company. Mr. Brown, it is indeed a pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was glad to see you. You want a taxi cab? Well, Mr. Brown, that shows that you are alert to the fact of serving the public as quickly as possible. But it so happens that I am the efficiency expert that Mr. Jones talked to you about. You is the efficient what? No, no, Andy. Listen. This here is the gentleman that I talked to you about, remember? Oh. Wake up now, Andy. You are still asleep. Look at you now. Open your eyes. This here is the gentleman that takes the business seriously, you see. Don't you remember me telling you about him down the large hall where I met him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I beg to apologize. Sit down, sit down. Amos, where is that other chair that we had? He ain't never had no other chair. It's all, it's all right. I'll sit here on the desk. Mm-hmm. Mr. Brown, your business associate here informs me that you're an efficiency expert. I am the efficiency expert that you need. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Fox. Uh, here, 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 here's a box here. Sit right down on this box over here. Oh, yeah. You are the gentleman. Uh, go right ahead, Mr. Fox. Ask Andy anything you want to ask him. If he don't know it, I'll try to tell you the best I can. If who? The idiot that I don't know now. Get that in your head. Well, gentlemen, let there be no dissension. You know what, Mr. Fox? Shut up, shut up. Now, Mr. Brown, you are in the taxi cab industry. You are catering to the public. Am I correct? Amos ain't told you nothing like that, is he? No, the only thing I told him was... Shut up, shut up, Amos. Well, now, gentlemen, I just want to ask you if you are in the taxi cab business serving the public in that capacity. Oh, yes, sir. We done that. I don't remember when it was, but we done it. Now, if I come into this business... I will no doubt be able to install a few systems which will enable you to conserve your energy, eliminate unnecessary expenditures, and get what you might call a dormant business on a business of a going business. It's almost gone now. Shut up, shut up, uh, Mr. Fox. Mr. Brown, I can see at a glance that you could use an efficiency man, and I would be glad to look over the fit, give you my frank opinion or not, it would be an unnecessary expenditure to bring me into the... Oh, all right. Uh, Mr. Fox, uh, 
Uh, you want to look at the books? We don't holler about the books. I'll keep them the books. Oh, I know you keep them. I just ask him if he won't look at them. That's all I see. Well, if the president has no objection, I would like to glance at the journal and the ledger. You want to glance at what? I say I would like to look at your books if you have no objection and see what system you are using. I think uh, Mr. Fox ought to come in and see what he could do with the company. He twisted now. Well, uh, Mr. Fox, in case you start to work, uh, what do you do? That's the end Mr. Fox. Analyze your business. Get right to the bottom of each detail. There's something right there if you, if you, if you do that. Let him see the books, Andy. Well, here's the book. I just sort of keep these in the rough, you see. I got a better one, better set than this at home under the bed. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is your book. The Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company in Corpulator of America. Andrew Brown, President. Yeah, yeah, sure. You see, I worked on the books day and night myself, people, but uh, I... Mr. Brown, what are these figures you have in the front of the book here? What's the... Right here. Four, six million, seven million, figure here, million... What are these figures? That's your own handwriting. You put them in... Oh, yeah, yeah. One day I got hold of a new pencil. And I was trying it out on that chair. Which is the debit side of the ledger? You mean the inside or the outside? Is this your monthly balance? We ain't got no balance. These books are in pretty bad shape, aren't they, Mr. Brown? I can't get heads or tails out of this. Why, this doesn't make sense. Amos, has you been fooling with them books again? I ain't been messing with no books. Yes, you is too. You've been messing with those Don't books. Don't try to tell me yes, I ain't touched the books. You is the one that's been letting yourself, and you know you did.